Okay, so to update you guys, we successfully put in the master cylinder. The camera ran out of storage, so we had to cut it. But meanwhile, the storage was transferring. We put down the new master cylinder. Uh, we also took off this. Really easy. There were so originally there's these tabs or whatever. You just up, up all of them and then there it would be like another top sheet you just unpick it from here and the tabs will be here and you just pull up break those do it from the other side take off then you have the window arm three two three i mean three ten bolts this one that one right there and then this one right there take this off and then this hole right here is for the top part of the clutch is to reinforce this so you have you don't have to but if you don't and when you push down on the clutch pedal <laughs> the clutch pedal is gonna go down because it doesn't have this top uh, this top reinforcement bolt so I do recommend or you should cut through this bolt uh, it took us a while to uh, figure it out but yeah we, we did that and then Install the master cylinder. Now we are installing the shifter now. There it is, Alex, explain what you're doing. So the automatic and the manual chest, um, shift box can fit the same way. So all you do is just put it on and then the four, the four holes should line up to the four screw right here. Does it line up? Yep. It oh. line up like that. And all you do is just put the screw in. It's good to have the manual, the manual uh, bolt is because it's longer than the automatic bolt. Oh yeah, that's true. And we also got, these bolts were included by the previous owner. He gave us these bolts. Uh, he also gave us those bushings. Uh, sometimes if you order on eBay, it, they probably probably won't provide those bushings. But, uh, yep. Now we're installing it there. And looking kind of good, guys. And then we also got the... Oh, clutch not there, but as you can see, we drilled that big hole up there. You see that hole right to the sun? Drilled that, master cylinder is right there, and then yeah. Gotta figure it out some way. This is how we did it, right here. Like that, basically. <laughs> so I guess for the manual, there's two linkages. Yeah. So this is the automatic one, we haven't taken it out yet. So. Oh, yep, that's the automatic linkage. We're gonna take it off once we're done with the full interior and after that we can get to the bottom and the training. <laughs> uh. <laughs> so right now, uh, I think we're about to go to Home Depot, right? So what we need is just that one bolt and then just washer. Full okay, washer. yeah, so because we do need washers. Explain them the washer. So thing. like, um, clutch pedal. So like, I guess it was one side I was like angering a little, so we need to go get at least one washer, it's a little like flat washer. You can call it flat washer. Just to just help to, it. Just to make it uh, line up straight, not. And then oh. this thing doesn't line up to the frame. So what we're gonna do is probably gonna buy washer and bolt. Probably one long bolt to go through here to the frame. And yeah, then put a like a bunch of washers. Uh, bunch of washer and like bolt. I'm not too sure if that's the way, but that's one of the way that um, if, it, if it's gonna get yeah. it done, it's gonna get it done. So that's probably one of the ways. So right now, yep, that's what we're gonna do. All right, let's head to, to Home Depot. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. So we just came out from Home Depot. We got these. Come out, bitch. Um, oh, 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 <laughs> shit! <laughs> so we got these flat washers, five sixteenths, and then we got a hex nut right there. Got this long bolt. Do it to your liking. Your liking, okay? In our, I mean, your, do it to your situation. In our situation, we need these. But, um, yep, that's about it. We are back. Alex will show you what's going on underneath. All right, so we just bought a screw right there. You can see coming out from the frame. So that screw should be holding into that. So right there. That hole right there. So that's gonna go through that right there. And after that, we're gonna bolt everything up and uh, see how it goes from there. We're gonna try to make the pedal straight because when we uh, put it on, it was kind of crooked a little. So um, probably like one or two washer on it. 
to hold on to see if it will go straight. If you think, I will update you guys in a bit. So what came in the mail today? Yo, the last item came in the mail. Not these, but the clutch braid line, braided clutch line. Clutch braid line came in. Now everything should be ready to be installed. Yeah. Hopefully. Maybe tomorrow will be the nice end day, but tomorrow we're gonna, I mean today we're gonna try to get everything done at least. So yeah, what we did right here, you know, we drilled a motherfucking hole right there. So Dirt tried to show you guys the clutch and stuff, but it took us a while because we were trying to get the adjustment right. Um, it was, sometimes it was a little bit too high, sometimes it slanted, sometimes it was like kind of off. But we tried our best to get the best fitment this fitment would do. Now that's in, the interior is almost done, really. Uh, when, what's needed next is brakes, center console, and seats. Now what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to install the window arms back in because we're done with that and this out of all right, so we just put the window arm back in. I'm gonna put these uh, three tens back. I already put one here, but it's really simple. Put one back over here. Pull there. Good work, Christopher just got here. He got off work. Hey, how's the build going? Uh, we you just install the clutch. Oh, yeah. Remember to put this in. Only have to clip it. Clip it. Clip it. Clip it. Oh, wow. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, Lathan, you went home? Yeah. Cause I had to go and run an errand too, so he's like, fuck it, I'm gonna go home. Oh. He's gonna, we'll, we'll just gonna come straight here, dude. Yeah. Alright, so we just got the clutch pedal on. Everything's good. Now I'm gonna be installing the brake. So we got this off the manual one. The automatic one was too long, as as um, you can tell from the beginning of Sal, like explaining it to you guys. But so this uh manual one, basically, well you can say it's manual. It came out from a manual, but it's a little smaller. Let's get started. It should be four nut right here, and then the four screws should be ready right there. You see it. I am installing the Clutch Master Reservoir, whatever it's called. This, this little thing. This thing in my bobber. Right, we still don't have the cap. We gotta go like junk out or something. Sign that, really easy. Two bolts, boom, boom. Two goes to whatever the right side. Not the one with the threads, but not the, the other one, you know, whatever. Oh. <laughs> Bro. How'd you get <laughs> that? What the fuck? <laughs> Make sure your hands are nice and clean. We're about to install the uh, flywheel right now. Let's go. No, no, no. Oh, uh, I guess I apply for this upcoming fall. Put it on the bottom so when you. Oh, uh, shiny flywheel, bro. Oh, look at that. Hear that click. My boy Aton's here. Dropped our fries. So he's cleaning it up. Oh, that's <laughs> he's putting it back in there. <laughs> yeah. Y'all, hey, by the way. Alright, so. Oh, shit. Old oh, dirty Dang, auto trans. Back in the game, bro. Trying to get some game, bro. You see, you see. Might need someone on the bottom. For like two person on the bottom. Oh, just to help, and then, and then I'm gonna carry from the top, but I'm gonna align it, and then I'm gonna need someone to kick it in. Okay. So yeah. basically, we're gonna need like four people, man. <laughs> Y'all hear that? Let's go. Three, two, one. Oh! Hell, bro. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. It's stuck back here. Alright, so it's a lot later. It's after. Like I don't know. Hit? I don't know the last time we had to, we were shooting. The video, but it was still sunlight, and but it took us so long to get the tranny in, like it was the worst thing ever. But we finally got the tranny, but we we have to sacrifice the bolt. I don't know how that happened, but we have to. Hopefully, you guys can do it. If you guys are solos, but man, you really gotta get some friends, dude. <laughs> it was tough pushing it up. It was so tough, so tough. We had uh, two people from the below and two people from above. That's probably because we and somebody to kick it. <laughs> I think that's hard because we didn't have a, a longer jack. But yeah. You, know, you had to work with what you got, so. Maybe, uh, hopefully, work on the car. Alex might come by tomorrow. We're trying to get the car done by this weekend, as in 8 
17? I don't know. Probably 20. 20. 20. I think today's the 19th. 19th of Thursday. We're trying to get it done before this weekend is over so we can work on Chance's project. And then Chance's project. And then Paul's. And then Paul's project. But yep, we'll see you guys in the next clip. And it should be the morning. Alright, it is morning. Not morning time, but around the evening. Alex is here. What's up, guys? We're gonna try to finish up the car today. We got the transmission in. It was a pain putting the transmission on about a day ago. We didn't work on the car yesterday. Kind of like a break day yesterday. Just tired of this fucking shit, but we're gonna try to get it done. Hopefully everything, maybe not by today. We're gonna start by doing stuff now. Most likely we're gonna put the frame back on. Oh yeah, we took out the subframe because yeah. we couldn't fit the tranny in. Put the subframe on, put the cable. Yeah, that's probably the two things for right now. Like the two, like, um, two yeah. main things. Two main things. Yeah. Alright, so Alex is just currently double checking the last bolts. Kind of. There's some bolts on um, underneath. All the bolts that we taken off in the first video are the bolts that he is just tightening now. Yo, what's up? As you can see, I'm upside down. I'm under the car right now. Um, so we had a problem taking off the, the yeah. manual shift linkage. You have to take off the heat shield. In order to do that, I think you have to take off the cap. So we took off the cap. Um, we had to torch those bolts connecting to the flex pipe because they're so rusted. And we took that off. I'm uh, reinstalling my headers because the, uh, the other way is take off your headers and it, it will come down. And then you can also do the, um, the heat shield from there. But then Joe came in touch with the torch. So we used that and now I'm just putting it back on. But we, what have you done, Alex? We're gonna put in the subframe soon after the uh, linkage and everything. The subframe, we'll push up the the uh, tranny, lock it up, and the axles, and then the EC wiring, and then interior, that's it. But yeah, let's get to it. All right, so, so I just put the cable in. I haven't put the uh, clip that hold on to the cable. Supposed to hold on right here, but I just put the cable in. There's like a 10 bolt right here that hold on to the it. cable. You gotta put this whole thing right here to this whole bracket right here first. Put it on, put the 10 bolt on, and after that, this one, this little piece right here, you clip right here. You get to push it in. It go in right in like that. And then you put this pin right here through that little hole. If you guys can see it, the little hole right here, and then it should just go right in. And after that, you put a cotter pin. We got the shifter box in. I don't know if your prelude is also like this, but we have a bunch of like random, not random, but like harness and we have to take it off. So the shift like just have a, they have a bracket, which honestly shifts gears and you have to put it down in the back of the tranny. And I don't know how to help you guys on that. I'm sorry. Right here. All right, y'all. Alex was able to put in the Shift linkages. I am aware that I do need another plate. I need a plate covering that. I did not get it. Yeah, I need a plate covering that part right there. We got the cables on. And as you can see, it does shift. So we're gonna go first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and then reverse. Yep. Right there. Let's get it. Please don't do this at home. Alright, so unfortunately the automatic bracket does not reach the manual mount. If uh, we push this up all the way, it will barely just touch the the, bra uh, the bracket. Nah. So I think this project just might have to postpone until we find one. But other than that, we're going to throw everything else and put everything else back together. Alright, as you can see, it is getting kind of dark now, kind of. We still have lights. But um, as I said, we don't have a bracket for that. So we're gonna go to the pick and pull tomorrow. Probably grab a bracket. Um, but other than that, we installed the subframe. Installed the T-bracket. Probably gonna do all the wiring next. 
and then wait for this and once we get that then start everything else and then car should be running oh, also the ecu we have to do the ecu stuff so all right so right now we're about to put the put the slate cylinder on so this is a brand new one from exeti so we're gonna just find like two bolt two 12 bolt so we'll at least reach on to like this this much room just so it can catch on to the uh, tranny so we're gonna put this thing onto the tranny right now We finished the underside of the car. It's pretty much just how you took it off. Basically put it back on. Be organized, keep your bolt. You put the cap back on. Now we're gonna work from the top now. All right, so pretty much Alex is wiring back up all the wires. We're gonna work with harness and maybe do some stuff with it. And that's pretty much it. We just don't have the manual bracket, so we're kind of slow on that right now, but. All right, so now we are trying to wire it up. Um, as you can see, Alex already put some of those away. But now we're trying to get the car to start, or no. But we're just trying to wire it for the car to start. We're looking at Prelude Powers. Prelude Power, it's just Prelude, literally PreludePower.com. I searched up PreludePower.com fifth gen manual swap, and it tells you everything here, which you need to know. And we all, I'm also looking at Switch Lives Garage, so please do that. So we're trying to figure that out right now. And we're gonna, look at the videos all right so we're gonna start the, the wiring so according to the video it's gray with the red white stripe together first i'm gonna do that first okay okay gray's off that's gray right yep gray okay and then red, red with the white stripe okay okay and then you, you can put the black together black with the blue stripe or blue with the uh. so then you solder those three together or electrical tape those three oh. together so these three right here. So these are the power right here. Power. Get it? Yep. Okay, so he got the gray with the red and then black can be optional. So that's red and gray. And then we're gonna do black too. Alright, so red and gray have to be together and black is optional. Please watch their videos. Alright, so we're gonna cut all the automatic transmission harness off since you know it's gonna get in the way anyways. So we're gonna cut this one right here. The four black ones. Well, I know actually, no, three black ones and uh, two brown ones. Four. No. One, two, three, four black ones. Four? Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. And then. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, the four's on him. Mm -hmm. Oh. Make sure you don't cut the starter wire, please. Yeah. Okay. Yep, that's it. And then you keep the starter hose and everything else. Wow, officially manual. Kind of. Honda Auto to Manual Swap, Swish Life Garage, like that. That's what we follow, and that's what we're doing here. There's the fifth black one. There's the fifth black one. I'm hiding in the back there somewhere. Huh? Oh. All right. So they said that you could take the automatic shift knob and you could put it onto the manual. Hey, OEM as it is, boy. Oh yeah, bro. Oh yeah, bro. You don't even need a shift knob, bro. You don't, to be honest. How, how far did I go down? Oh, you going down. down. Get tight. Right there. Yeah. This should look like a truck ship. Dude, it feels good, too. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Four, four days of work. We could have done it in four. Oh yeah, we would have been done by today. First drive. Fuck! First drive would have been today, bro. But we don't have the fucking bracket. Hell, that fucking auto one didn't work. Yeah, I thought, I thought it was going to work too. I guess because the tranny is smaller. It has to be bigger. Yeah. Yo, what's up? The car is damn near finished. Almost. So close. We just need the five-speed transmission bracket. We just need that. We need to desolder some points on the ECU, do some wiring, get a reservoir cap, that's four I believe, fluids and axles, and then you know clean up wheels, everything, uh, and the interior, and that's it. See you guys in the next clip. By the time I do this, it's gonna be morning, ready? All right, y'all, so it's currently morning time. Well, technically not morning, it is the noon. We're gonna go to the pick and pull today and see if we can get the manual transmission bracket because that was something that we needed yesterday and we don't have it. So we're gonna go pick up um, 
Alex, maybe Dill. Alright, so I just got some tools, not much. Impact gun. My ECU, we have to make that into a manual today. We're gonna take it to Alex's buddy, and he's gonna do the soldering for us, and that's about it. Let's get it. So we're actually at the pick and pull, we're going here now. Hopefully, we just saw that there is a prelude near the last one. We didn't bring that. I grabbed whatever. Yeah, you got all the shirt. Oh, I knew I should just bought the whole two bottles when I had a chance. You so heavy. <sighs> wow, so sad. I thought even starting was so heavy. So this is the black one that was on the pick and pull. That only took, what, what the hell did it take, the cell frame? No, that thing. I'm gonna get this shit boot. Uh, oh, I'll take this. What the hell? I don't know how this got here. I found a mount, a tranny mount out here. I don't think this is it. No, but it doesn't have. You can't. You mean? I don't know. Do you put a nut there? It looks just like it. Yeah, it is. You sure? Yeah, it is. Exactly the same. What do you find this? At the prelude? I found it in front. There's a prelude here, and like. And there's a car here, I found it right there on the ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, thank God we don't gotta go through it, dude. You sure? Yeah, let me, let me look around. Oh, fucking thank God we didn't fucking gotta do it, dude. So this prelude has the M2 Y4 tranny. The one that I wanted. Alright, so. Got the shift boot, kinda dirty. But we'll go home and clean it up. This is what I wanted anyways. Found something promising off this EK here. I found it right in the back. Let's see if this works. Come on, let's go. All right, y'all. I don't know how I found this five-speed bracket, but it had the same code as the one on that black prelude. And wow, I just found this while walking on the ground somewhere. Jesus Christ, what a find. That's what we needed the most. On the way to Alex's friend's place. So we made it back to Dill's house. Dill's coming out right now. We made it to Dill's house. We're gonna go to uh, Alex's friend. Get that ECU solder. Let's get it. Thank you, Sing, for uh, chipping the ECU. Uh, one of my buddy, one of my good buddy who who does ECU and I, he, he, done, he done a lot of my ECU in my car now. So uh, we took it to him. It was crazy. That one little PC. So, it's like this small. Like yeah, like so small. Hella small. Like you guys do have a person or like good friends who know how to do it. Yes. Y'all should really get take a it buddy. Get yeah. a buddy to do like, it. It really help. But yeah, right, so we just got back to Sal house. Uh, me, Dill, and Sal. What we're gonna do is install the axle, install all the little stuff that we got from the junk. Today should be the last day. About to install the piece that we've been waiting for this whole time. Hopefully, we get a first drive today. First drive for you, man. Come on. Smashing the reservoir. Boys, in a hurry to get to the pick and pull. They close at six, and it's five something. Yeah. So. Might be racing down there, man. Alright, update, bro. We just picked up a new axle from AutoZone because we couldn't make it in time for the junk. So, we got my boy Alex over here. I think it was better for us to get the new axles, anyways. Yeah. Don't cheap out on the axle, guys. The axle is the main problem. Look at that. Went in like butter, bro. Oh, no! Got a record, dude. Look at that, bro. All the way through, bro. All the way through. Let's hope we can stand on the other side and see how it goes. Oh, yeah, I can, right? we can still get an axle. All right, so it's been about two hours. We installed the battery we installed the starter we're gonna put axles we bought the new axle uh, i don't know if you need to buy a new axle but we bought the new one and it fit perfectly so be buyer beware of junkyards we didn't buy one for the driver's side yet we will get that after we're all done with this we're gonna bleed the clutch add the transmission fluid and my boy alex did the wiring inside alex will maybe talk to you guys about that but that was really complicated we still are not completely done with that so yeah that's gonna be its own thing but right now we're gonna try to focus on just uh, bleeding the clutch adding tranny fluid and then maybe go buy the driver's side axle install it yo guess what just happened dude what oh what happened <laughs> the car started up bro. the car started up <laughs> the car started up all right so alex did the fucking wiring 
down in the clutch. We had such a hard time trying to figure it out, but we said, fuck it, and we didn't wire it. Right, Alex? We didn't wire, huh? We didn't wire the, the clutch pedal. The pigtail. The pigtail clutch pigtail to yellow. anything. Yeah. Yeah, the yellow thing. We just took that off. Shout out to Matthew Johnson. That guy said, I just didn't wire mine up. <laughs> <laughs> He's a fucking G, bro. <laughs> He said, my work, I just didn't wire it up. <laughs> yeah, so don't wire it up. Look at what all these people on Facebook are saying. So we also ran into another issue. The clutch is not bleeding properly. So we're gonna wait until tomorrow. Okay, feet is not clutch. I'm just gonna turn it on. Hi, Joe. Close right, it up for us. What am I supposed to say? All right, y'all, we'll see y'all tomorrow. The food! <laughs> <laughs> we finished everything. Uh, we about to clean up and all this junk, and we'll be back tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. All right. So it's morning time, or about two. Uh, we got Joe here, but the new man Darren. Hello. Sheesh. Like Zach. FD2. Sheesh. There. Darren came to check it out. Um, we're currently waiting on Alex. But today, we're gonna remove the slave and re-bleed the clutch line. We couldn't get that out yesterday, but Alex told me to remove the battery, so we moved the battery, and now we're waiting on Alex. He is bringing in the new axle, and we should be done by today, and uh, hopefully driving by today. My boy Alex is here with the new axle. Just new test fitted it. And it fits. And it fits, so. Do not buy junkyard axles. <laughs> Do not buy junk on that. It's a axle. scam, bro. Scam. If you get any new axles, you might as well get it new, bro. Yeah. Damn. Lifetime warranty and it saves your life, man. If these break, it's game over. Get this done. Get the clutch. Lead. He's dead. Oh, I'm a rapper. He's a rapper. He's a fat, hard bitch. Hi, y'all. So, Alex was able to bleed the clutch. I don't know what he did, but Alex, what did you do? Uh, so, I just basically check all the line, check the. The clutch pedal. So I guess the clutch pedal need, uh, needed to be adjusted or not. Did you adjust it? Yeah, so I adjust a little, but right now we're just gonna do the clutch and after that we'll uh, adjust the whole thing. Again. Yeah, almost this close to get on the road. We're almost damn, damn near done now. Damn near done. All right, so we were able to bleed the clutch. Clutch feels very good, um, especially with that stage one. All right, yo, we got the car to work. Well, I don't know if we're working or not, but got the tires in. Blend everything, make sure everything is good. So we're gonna start driving now. Here's the startup. Ah, oh, fucking bitch. Battery, be, battery better not be dead, bro. Battery. <laughs> Damn, we got so we got too excited. Um, I stalled already a couple times already. Uh, we did our first drives already. We didn't take the camera. So we just went and recorded on our phones, but I'm officially manual now. As you guys can see, officially manual. Everything works, SRS light is on though. But other than that, everything works and it's functioning. Now we just gotta clean up. The swap is official. We are now done. I think one thing that you guys will need to take away from this video is the axles. We had a hard time figuring out why the axles wouldn't fit. We, these axles were from a manual axle from a junk, but they didn't fit. But right when we bought the Duralas axles from AutoZone, they bolted it right on. Other than that, the swap was good, successful, nothing bad really. That's about it guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. The two part video. Hopefully you guys can go and swap your own preludes. Let's go. See ya boys.